I found it to Faith Church. And that's what the Lord brought back to me, founder Matthew Primus. Um, that's what the Lord brought to me, that we got to separate ourselves. We got to separate ourselves from people that are not doing what God said to do. We got to separate ourselves from people that are not speaking what God said to speak. We got to separate ourselves from people that are, uh, the people that are leading us astray and people that are up to no good. We got to separate ourselves from people that are, uh, man, that want to tear us down and that not, not chastise us, but want to tear us down and want to ruin us and stop us from doing what God tells us to do. We got to separate ourselves from people that are just possessed with the devil and who just want to destroy our purpose and destroy our minds and destroy our hearts. We got to separate ourselves from those people. And it doesn't mean that uh, not praying for them unless God said not to pray for them. But you just got to get yourself in the word. And you got to get yourself into praising God and being thankful and praying and shouting before God. Because if you don't practice those things, you're not going to be able to stand against the enemy. You're also not going to be able to stand against trials and tribulations and mountains and valleys and storms. You got to learn how to prepare yourselves for, uh, you got to learn how to prepare for yourself for uh, the attacks of the enemy. Because the enemy is going to attack any old, he's going to attack any way he possibly can. The Bible says the enemy is a lion, a ferocious lion. And seeking whom and whoever he may devour. And if you're hanging around people who are tearing you down, they may be workers of the devil. They may be children, daughters, and sons of the devil who Satan sent to you to destroy you and to manipulate you and to break you down. So you got to you gotta separate yourself from them. You have to, uh, you have to separate yourself not only spiritually, but physically. You have to separate yourselves from those people because if you don't separate yourself from those people, they will ruin you. They will give you a living hell and they will take you to hell. But if you separate yourself from them, uh, God will be with you and God will strengthen you and guide you. And you can ask the Lord, help me, strengthen me, uh, encourage me, Lord. That's what the Spirit of the Holy Spirit does. He helps, he encourages, and he strengthens. And so the Lord said that you got to separate yourself. Separate yourselves from those workers of iniquity. Separate yourselves from those people that are not right. 